Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today we're going to use two graphic softwares. One, Adobe Illustrator for this uh, page layout. It's very simple. And then we're going to transfer this file to Adobe Animate to animate it. And then we're going to create an uh, MP4 video file so you can use it for uh, social media like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or anything. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, first, uh, please create a new Adobe Illustrator file. The size is going to be 1000 point by 1000 point, either pixel, point, doesn't matter, and create it. Okay, then uh, please download the image from the link I provided, which is this. Uh, so I open this file in Photoshop. Let me select all and copy and back to Illustrator. Let me paste it. So we have this. So my next step is I'm going to have uh, two more copies of this layers. So open the layers panel and then um, uh, once you choose the layer, go to drop down menu, please choose uh, duplicate layer and one more time. Oops. Select the second layer and duplicate it. So we have three. Select the top layer. On top, let's draw out one rectangle. Choose your rectangle tool and set your fill color to nothing. Stroke color just to black. And draw a rectangle maybe um, about this size. Just like that. Okay. And then switch your tool to a direct selection tool like this. And then place your mouse cursor on the one of this little dot. Keep pressing and drag it. So we have a round like a pill. And I want to rotate the 45 degree angle. Easiest way is uh, hold down the shift key. Approach your mouse cursor to the corner point. You see the band shape and rotate 45. So um, with this option, you can rotate 45 or 90 degree angle only. Then let me place it somewhere. Oh, let me make sure I'm working on the top layer. Let me place it on top. Okay. On top layer, I'm going to place it somewhere, maybe here. Like that. Okay. And let me make a copy. Option. Place your mouse cursor on the border. Keep pressing and drag it. Just like that. And then I'm going to make it bigger. Hold down the option and place your mouse cursor on the corner. Keep pressing and shift key and drag it. Make it bigger. I'm going to place it somewhere there. Let me make it slightly even bigger. Option, keep pressing shift. About that size. Somewhere there. Okay. I'm going to make another copy. Option, keep pressing and drag it. This time I'm going to make it smaller. Option, keep pressing and the shift key about that size. And let me place it, oops, somewhere there, like that. Okay, so it looks good. So, as you can see, let me open my layers. There are three layers, but all these ovals are located on top layer for now. Select the first oval, this one. You see that? The blue dot, so that means this first oval selected in this top layer. I'm going to move it to the bottom. So keep pressing on this blue dot and drag it to the bottom layer. Okay, so now this is on the bottom layer. My second one, second oval, drag it to the second layer. Top one is on top anyway. Okay, now hide top two layers. Select the bottom layer, select everything, then object menu, clipping mask and make it. Now hide the bottom layer, make the second layer visible and select the second layer, select everything, and then object menu, clipping mask and make it. I will do the same thing for the top layer. So top layer is visible and then select it and select everything object clipping mask and make it right 
so we have all these three okay now select everything all three then go to effect menu stylized drop shadow so we can assign we can give some kind of a depth uh, this is my option uh, normal mode 100% and there's two X and Y offset option and then a blurry option okay just to say okay all right then next step is I'm gonna add a text on the top and this bottom one so on top one I'm gonna type the word find we make it bigger and then I'm gonna choose um, bolder and heavier typeface area black okay and I want to have my text color to this dark gray and let me rotate it 45 degree angle by holding down the shift key like we did I'm gonna place this somewhere there okay maybe a little further here okay find and I'm gonna type uh, one more word find your style this time I'm going to use a different typeface uh, character something different style and I'm gonna use the same color oops sorry same color dark gray and let me rotate it 45 degree angle again I'm gonna place it here I want to make it bigger uh, that's that's good find your style okay and then um, I want to have this on this bottom layer as well so um, let me choose this option and drag it to somewhere here but um, as you can see open the layers still this text is a part of this top layer so I want to move it to the bottom okay and then let me add yeah, just one more uh, one layer on the bottom um, for the background color so what I'm gonna do is let me select uh, any layer and let me insert the new layer I'm gonna move it to the very bottom and then let me choose my rectangle tool and let me draw a square thousand by thousand by placing your mouse cursor on top left corner and click I'm gonna set to thousand by thousand and okay same color so it looks good oh let me move this find the text a little bit up okay so find your style find your uh, let me change the text find yourself okay so it looks good you know what I want to move down a little bit okay okay now before we do some more stuff I want to group uh, each one so a top with the text and the bottom with the text and then this middle one so let me select the top find hold down the shift key your style and the masked image and let me group them object group I'll do the same thing for the bottom one find yourself and the image by holding down the shift key and object group them okay so it looks good so each layer has each group okay now let me add uh, one more layer on top uh, I'm gonna add here just one little thing choose the uh, your uh, rectangle tool and then uh, set your fill color to some orange and let me draw kind of a rectangle about this size and then switch your tool to this direct selection tool like we did and round the corner switch your tool to a, a regular selection tool hold down the shift key and rotate 45 degree angle I'm gonna place it somewhere there okay I want to have one more uh, by holding down the option and drag it I'm gonna make a little smaller option keep pressing mouse button and the shift key about that size and 
white. Somewhere there. Okay, so these are just a kind of a graphic element, so we can show kind of a repetition of a same graphic language. Okay, so now uh, we are ready to move it. So um, first I'm going to save it as um, maybe a yellow style underscore style dot AI. Okay. Now back to Adobe Illustrator, open a new file, file size is going to be the same, 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel, create it, and double click your hand tool so we can view the whole thing, um, just to make it everything's easier, let me go back to Illustrator, I'm going to select everything uh, except my background. So select yeah, all these three groups, no actually five groups. Then go to file, uh, edit menu, copy the whole thing except the background and then um, back to Adobe uh, Animate and let me just paste it. It will ask you um, this, select the second button, say OK. See. So we have everything here. Only thing we are missing is the background. What I'm going to do is uh, deselect everything, click somewhere in your properties panel, you're going to see the stage color. Click there, you see the uh, uh, eyedropper, select your text color so we can match the color. See? So we are almost there. We're getting in there. So now next step is uh, there are multiple groups. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to break uh, individual group into an uh, individual layer. So select everything, go to object, uh, modify, timeline, distribute to layers. Okay, then uh, let's use yeah, just 15 frames of time duration. So uh, highlight the uh, uh, frame number 15 on the bottom layer, hold down the shift key, click on the uh, frame number 15 on top layer, then insert the keyframe. Now select the bottom layer, hold down the shift and click on the top layer, you see the uh, everything's in blue. Then hold down the control or right click somewhere, any layer uh, and then between any frames. So control, click or right click, you're going to see that create classic twin. Okay. So I rewind. Now it's time to change the amount, some settings of each first keyframe. So first the thing is, these two. Find your style, this group, and find yourself, this group. I'm selecting the both, you see that, by holding down the shift key. And then keep pressing mouse button and hold down the shift. I'm going to move about somewhere there. And then change the color effect, alpha, down to zero. See? This happens. Let me rewind it. This time I'm going to choose uh, this second group in the middle with this model. And then I will do the same thing. Click and shift and move down. Maybe somewhere there. Okay and change the color effect to alpha down to zero. So this happens. Okay. Same thing. Rewind it. This yellow, the orange pill. I'm going to move down somewhere there. And color effect alpha zero. And the white pill, opposite direction. And alpha value down to zero. So this will happen. But it's kind of a little boring because the speed is kind of the same speed from the beginning till the end. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to highlight the first keyframe of every frame, every layer. So hold down the shift key, select all first keyframes. And in your properties panel, you're going to see that uh, ease option classic is. I'm going to increase it up to 100. That's the maximum value. 
and watch the difference. See? It's getting slower. Okay, now I want maybe uh, this is okay, but uh, let's give some kind of more excitement uh, by adding a kind of a different time duration. So first, the bottom layer, I'm going to keep it because that's the first item, and then uh, the second one, I'm going to move it to uh, 20. Select the third group up to 25. And then these two, top two layers, uh, they may come together like that. So what happened for now is this. this. But on the problem is we only see the two pills. So we need to keep uh, the, all the images on the bottom, these three layers. So highlight the frame number 30 on the, um, uh, the third layers. And then hold down the shift key, click on the bottom layer. Then insert the keyframe and watch. Okay, so it looks good. But uh, once we export it as the MP4 file for the Instagram or any social media, it is supposed to uh, keep looping. So I want to give some kind of little more uh, time, extra time. After one second mark, uh, let's give uh, maybe three seconds. So one, two, three, four. So here, uh, highlight the frame number 120, which is the four second mark. Hold down the shift key and click on the bottom layers, 120, and insert keyframe. Play it. So it will stay about three seconds and it will go back to the very beginning and it will keep playing. Then let me save it first as um, yellow underscore style dot FLA. Now it's time to export as the MP4 video file. Make sure your the media encoder is open. Then go to file, export, video and media thousand by thousand I'm not gonna change anything entire movie make sure your format is H264 and then I'm, uh, default is fine the location this is important so browse your destination so um, this is my destination uh, I'm gonna save it as a yellow style save it make sure uh, you check this at the bottom box start Adobe Media Encoder render queue and export it And let me check my folder. See, I have a yellow style.mp4. Let me open in QuickTime and play. See? Again. Okay. So um, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you can use this for the, any kind of a promotional uh, work or for your personal use. Um, so um, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button and set the alarm. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.